Hey everyone. Today we got this deer Femi. It is a gazebo tent. We're going to set this up. We're actually going to camp out in it. We're going to give it a, a complete full review because um, the company sent this to me. They'd like me to review it for them and we are in a real world situation. So you may hear some boats. There's a river right behind you and we're going to camp out in it and we're going to see how it looks. This thing has a nice carry bag. It's easy setup, easy tear down, and it also has some pretty cool features we'll get into here in just a minute. Okay, we're going to unzip this. We're going to pull everything out. This also has a floor. You can use it with or without the floor, which is a nice touch. It also has what they call a rain cap or what we call a rain fly in case it rains or when you leave it off you can see the stars. You can look up and see the stars. Got some poles, some stakes here. Now we're going to set it right up here in this nice flat soft area right in about where it's sitting at right now. Got extra stuff here. Remember this is not a backpacking tent, but it also has instructions right here on how to set it up and tear it down. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna unbuckle the strap, take the strap, put it where you can't lose it. This is packing materials, poppies. Leave it up to me to put it inside out. Now that we got all the sides popped out, I'm going to go in and pop up the center. And it's done. Now, all you have to do is stake down the corners. They've got plenty of stakes. And all these sides 
You got a zipper here for ventilation. You've got a little vent here for ventilation. Or you can roll all the sides up. Put your furniture inside. It has double sided zippers. So you can zip from the inside or outside. Just like that. Or you can have one side open, two sides open, or all of them open, or none. Just like that. Also, got a zipper there. Again, a zipper on the inside and outside. Double zipper on every part of it. Very nice. Now, you can move this thing wherever you want, down here on the bottom is where you put your stakes in, and I'll show you one of them right now. Down here, there's a little grommet, you just drive your stake in, we're in Florida, so it's kind of sandy. Very rarely do you need a hammer down here in Florida, but in each corner has one of them to stake your tent down. Now this is the floor. It Velcros all the way around the sides. So very nice. You got two bags it comes with that zip up. They are waterproof. There's one here. And one here you can put them in any corners you want and also up here storage compartments up there you can hang a light right here and it also comes with a rain fly that's it right there that'll go over the top I like the skirting and I like that the floor you can even Roll it up halfway, whatever you want, or not have it at all. And the floor comes up the side, so no creepy crawlies will get you. Yeah. Very nice. So we're going to put the rain fly on. And up here, as you can see, it's mesh, so you can look out at the stars. Now, I don't know if we're going to see any stars because we're under a tree, but if we put it out there in the open, again, we're in Florida, just 90 some degrees, so we wanted to be in the shade. Also, I'd like to mention on the rain fly or the rain cap, it does have some nice seal tape there, which makes it waterproof. You won't get any water through those stitchings. Now it also comes with these guy ropes and stakes to put in through here. You can stake it out just like this. That keeps the wind from pushing your tent walls in. What you can do, if you have to pull your sides down, you run your guide lines right up through there and tie them out, just like that. And then for ventilation, you can unzip these. And roll these up for ventilation. So that's very nice. So if you think you're not going to need the sides down, which we might, they're expecting rain, you can keep your sides up stake that down but if you have to it's it's real simple just to roll these back down push this right through that grommet which is also a nice vent and stake it back down and you have your velcro on the sides and it goes clear down to the bottom on both sides and again 
you can zip or unzip this from the inside by unzipping these. So you don't have to come outside the tent to zip and unzip these. Now right in here, you'll have a pole on each side. There's one here, and there's one here, and there's two ties. There's one there and one there. They go into the little pockets, one up here and one down there. And then the same way with the one across the top, it'll go in here, ties there, ties here, and then goes into that pocket. And that's your door frame. Again, you don't have to have a floor in here if you don't want the floor in. She likes to have a floor, so we put the floor in for her. And there's her little bed. Plenty of room in here. I'm 5'7", and I'm standing straight up even over here at the edge. This is very nice. We do have a storm rolling in, so I'll probably have to put the sides down. But this is very, very nice. Okay, now to take this down, I've just got the doors pulled back to show you guys how easy this floor is to take out. Again, it's just Velcroed around the edges. Then you can take it out, shake it off, you can take it home, hose it off with a garden hose. You can't do that with a regular tent. Now the next step, you just go around any stakes that you put in, that you stake the tent down with or anything like that, go ahead and pull the stakes out and put them in the bag that was provided to you. A lot of guys will take these off. I always leave my guy, guy lines hooked up because that way I don't lose them. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the rain fly off. Which is just hooked in with those little hooks. Just shake it off, fold it up, and this will go in your bag. Now, we're going to take the door frame poles out, just untie them real simple. Give it a little pull, and it comes right out, and you do that all three poles now we're going to lay this thing down the first thing we're going to do is go in the center pull the center down just like that now we're going to pop the sides in we're going to fold it up and roll it up just like that And then roll it up. Now we're going to get our tie that came with it. We're going to tie it up and I'll show you how to put it in the bag. Now we're going to take our strap. We're going to put our strap on. And it just clips into place. It's just got a buckle. cinch it up now get the bag we'll put it in the bag now we're going to get our accessories and we're going to put them in the bag as well
And there it is, ready to go back in the car. So the Deer Famy, or Deer Fammy, however you pronounce it. Awesome tent gazebo. No problems with it. We had a downpour. Didn't leak a drop. It's well ventilated. Like I said, we're in Florida. 90s and 100s right now. Had plenty of well ventilation. Of course, when you're in that kind of heat, you always want to bring a fan. With our fans, we slept great in this thing. Plenty of room. This is the medium size. They have a 10 and a half, 11 and a half, and 12 and a half foot. So there's three different sizes you can get. Now, if you're interested in this product, there will be a discount link in the description box right below this video. There will also be a discount code. You will receive a discount if you purchase one of these. I like it. Gets a five star in my book. Easy setup, easy tear down. The hardest part for us right now is we're in Florida and it's hot. <laughs> it's morning times already well over 90. But as you can see, everything fits in there just perfectly. Um, take your time, fold things up a little nicer than maybe than what I did, and it'll even go better, go together better than that. So, yeah, I want to thank the company for sending this to me. I appreciate it. And again, down below will be a discount link for this product with a discount code you'll have the link and then you have the discount code so you copy and paste that code when you purchase this and you'll get a nice discount thank you for watching everyone have a great day